Well hello, uh, welcome to my study here at the Vicarage. Uh, it's been a long time since we've been together at Boston Avenue or in church, but I'm really pleased to be invited to share with you now. Mrs Wheatley has asked me to put something together that you might uh, take part in at home, a bit like all the staff have been doing in various ways. This video started with a photograph I took outside St Mary's in the dark days of winter. Well, we've come through to the spring and although the world is brighter, there is still some darkness around us. I want to explore briefly though with you a theme of hope and I pray that together we might know God's grace and love and during this short time know that there is hope. We're going to use some of the uh, prayers and the ways in which we share together in our services at Boston Avenue. Uh, you'll see the slides come up on the screen and particularly I'd encourage you to bless each other as we do at school when we say, and the Lord bless you and you and you. And so we say together, we meet in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so this is where you can have a bit of fun. Uh, so we remember the Lord of glory be with you. The Lord bless you and you and you. I do hope you pointed to all those around you. We may not be able to sing together, but we are still worshipping together. And so loving God, we come to worship you. Help us to pray to you in faith, to sing your praise with gratitude, and to listen to your word with eagerness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading was written over 3,000 years ago by someone who himself was going through a difficult time, but he knew God was with him and could trust in his love. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He gives me rest in green pastures. He leads me to calm water. He gives me new strength. For the good of his name, he leads me on paths that are right. Even if I walk through a very dark valley, I will not be afraid, because you are with me. Your rod and your shepherd's staff comfort me. You prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. You pour oil of blessing on my head. You give me more than I can hold. Surely your goodness and love will be with me all my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. The reading you just heard comes from the book of Psalms, Psalm 23. The Psalms are lyrics to songs. Some are happy and some, of course, are sad. This is perhaps one of the most famous of the Psalms, the 23rd Psalm. And we sometimes sing that song, The Lord's My Shepherd. But it shares also in the happiness and sadness. That happiness and sadness reminds me of time in my life when I've been sad. It also reminds me that God is with us, in spite of all the rough terrain we might go through. In one of our recent services we've recorded online, we introduced to our church family the idea of gathering stones together, and that when we return to church we will bring those stones as a reminder of God's blessing even in difficult times. We plan to make a cairn, that's a gathering of stones together, and an image of that will show on the screen as well. That will be both a reminder of what has passed, but also of the hope that God brings. We come now to a time of prayer. I would encourage you to sit together, hold hands if you will in your family groups, but also I'd like you to say that Amen that we say at school, but hold on to that until we come to the end of the Lord's Prayer, and we'll say that nice and loud together. Okay, so we begin with a prayer of hope. And so let us pray. Father, we thank you that in a world of despair, you are our hope. In a world of darkness, you are our light. In a world of sorrow, you are our joy. 
Holy God, our only hope is in you. We thank you for the past, trust you for today, and believe for the future, that all your promises will come to pass, so we can rest forever in your love. Amen. And so gathering our prayers and praises into one, we pray with confidence as our Saviour's taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Are you ready? Amen. Just before we finish today, I want to share with you a slide that Reverend Jackie put together, the theme to which go along with our theme of hope. Uh, you'll see the words on the screen reminding us that the Bible is the gift of God's Word. His love is unconditional. Remember, we can always talk to Him because He is the light of the world and He will never leave us. Well, it's been a short time uh, sharing together with you today. But I hope uh, soon that we will be back together uh, in school, uh, worshipping together, of course, and sharing together and caring for each other. I know lots of you have been doing that in many and different ways. We have and we will do pass from darkness into light. At Easter, we celebrate the light of the world, uh, Christ amongst us at the, at the time of the resurrection. And so... As we go today, I want to show you another photograph of the church, this time a photograph uh, of the church on the outside in spring, a church now bathed in sunshine. Uh, we will know, even in these dark times, that the hope that Christ brings will always bathe us all in his generous and glorious love. So for now, goodbye, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. And so we go with God's blessing. You might want to join in by saying the words in black. In darkness and in light, in trouble and in joy, help us, Heavenly Father, to trust your love, to serve your purpose, and to praise your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.